well, Arena Wars looked real promising. I mean, Carmageddon, Death Race, and Mad Max, what could possibly go wrong? How's about fucking everything? But this video is a quick summary as to why it's fucking awful. Which means it's going to be done in under 5 minutes, I'm going to be talking very fast, so I hope you're following. It's Rockstar's latest attempt at another pitiful cash grab whilst they ride the last wave of GT Online's life, all in wait to pounce on Red Dead 2's online functions and then funnel the same business practice into that game instead. Well, the premise of this update is that you now get Mad Max escape vehicles that can be upgraded with parts such as rams, guns, mines, push functions and even jump functions. But of course, if you thought this would be done in a fair and non-demanding way not to completely drain your fucking maze bank account in 5 seconds flat, you'd be fucking wrong. This shit leeches money off of you. Even worse than any other bit I've ever come by from this shit heap of a business practice. Roughly 995000 to buy the cheapest workshop to customise your vehicles, you need to own specific vehicles as there's not many to customise, only about 7 in total really. And then you get the pitfall PAY TO WIN bullshit that comes with every fucking Rockstar update, arena ready vehicles. Which vehicles that can be modified with their visual looks are unique to the game mode and there are no clean variants of them. And come with completely unfair stat boosts, of course, to make those regular vehicles that you bought and upgraded 100% fucking pointless to use in any of these goddamn competitions. Oh, and you can bet your oversized gamer ass cheeks that these fuckers ain't cheap. 2.1 million for the cheapest arena ready vehicle there. That goes without saying that when you purchase one of these sons of bitches for 2.1 at the cheapest price, that comes with no fucking guns or weapons or anything. Nope! You actually have to unlock features of vehicles through playing the game mode, winning, and spinning a lottery wheel, which makes this actual really fair play. It's an incredibly in-depth idea of... <laughs> I kept that all going for a while, didn't I? Fuck me, lads. Nope, you've been bamboozled. If you're a rich, snobby little cunt with mummy's credit card, of course Rockstar gives you the possibility to buy these things before you unlock them at an absorbent and unfair price. Which what majorly disappoints me, there's no balance, have a hacky give you cash and win, use your mum's credit card and win, or play legitimately get fucked by your arena ready vehicle owners that have already won the match just by using it. Oh and even more fun, the only advantage non arena ready vehicle owners have is the modified gargoyle which is almost impossible to hit with gunfire, you know, the modified bike. Speedy as hell and wins every fucking race imaginable, so there you have it folks, another could have been great update fucked in the ass with shitty pay to win aspects. Which has to be the worst example of pay to win by far through all of GTA updates history, I'm not even joking. Now that being said, I'm going to be going back to GT Online, in free roam, and not buying into any more of this pay to win crap fest game mode. Oh yeah, and there's actually 8 game modes in this update, which includes the car combat ideal, and each game mode, of course, being tailored to specific vehicles. Better steal credit cards and buy all of them kids!